On now to our environmental beat. The state's top oil and gas regulator, Ken Harris, is now out of a job. Then Governor Jerry Brown appointed Harris to lead the division of oil, gas, and geothermal resources back in 2015. Governor Gavin Newsom ordered his firing last week. It's reportedly over the state approving permits for hydraulic fracturing or fracking, which is digging for oil and natural gas at twice the rate it did under former Governor Brown. Governor Newsom opposes fracking, but no word yet on whether he plans to limit the oil extraction process here in California. Our Zach Tawatari looked into how this affects all of us. It's prime real estate in Culver City's Rain Tree neighborhood. That's part of the reason Deborah Weinrock has lived here for over 20 years. But this development, which used to be part of Hollywood, MGM's Lot 3, has another neighbor, the Inglewood oil field. You can see the derricks from her porch, and the closest one is within 100 yards. Residents don't believe that the oil wells um, are safe. Deborah says neighbor after neighbor has fallen victim to cancer. She herself had reproductive cancer in 2015, and her biggest fear is that her proximity to the oil practices is causing her and her neighbors to breathe in toxic substances. We never know exactly what the cause is, um, but it's always in the back of our mind that perhaps the oil fields have impacted uh, the diagnosis, maybe even caused the cancer, but we just don't know. And at a press conference on Friday, she and representatives from Consumer Watchdog called on Governor Gavin Newsom to freeze all permits and replace the leadership at the Division of Oil, Gas, and Geothermal Resources. A day after Newsom requested California's Natural Resources Secretary to fire Ken Harris, the state's top oil and gas regulator, after Consumer Watchdog provided evidence of conflict of interest within the division and an increase in fracking permits. And Deborah says that while there's no way she can directly link her sickness to the oil field, she hopes her story will get the state to strengthen its oversight of the industry, especially at the local level. When we're asking questions, maybe we're getting correct answers, maybe we're not getting correct answers. Many of us don't understand the answers we're getting, but the one thing that is consistent is we're being told if there was a problem, we'd fix it. Hoping to avoid what she calls poison in paradise. Zach Tawatari for us this morning. Thank you very much, Zach. Governor Gavin Newsom said he supports California heading towards 100% renewable energy, but it would be unrealistic to think the state can stop depending on both oil and gas. His most recent budget includes $1.5 million to study ways to reduce petroleum demand right here in the Golden